Novus Network, aka CKB, has done a 10x this year in price. But we are more than likely at a local high. And we're more than likely going to see the price come back below 0.018 over the coming weeks and months before the market turns again and makes all-time new highs. And I'm going to cover the technical reasons of why I believe that's the case. My name is Jagir. I've been featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008. And I'm going to leverage or get you to leverage my 15 years of trading experience on how to really build a roadmap and plan for what you want to do. So with that said, let's dive straight in. Markets are driven by crowd psychology. And what we're going to be doing today is measuring that crowd psychology of buying and selling behavior using something called Elliott Wave Theory and Fibonacci price ratios. Now, we're going to use something called two degrees of wave count. So on the left-hand side, I've got the theory. So what I believe CKB has just done this year is a nice one, two, three, four, five of a wave three. So that's the theory. So now let's look at the live chart with CKB on the right-hand side. So towards the end of last year, we had this nice impulsive move up. We call that a wave one. This correction, a wave two. We had this beautiful, really impulsive move up. Typical of a wave three, very impulsive. A ABC correction of what looks like to be a textbook wave four. And then this final leg up of a wave five. But when you see a five wave structure, you want to ask yourself the question, a five of what? So if we look again at the left hand side, if we believe it's a wave three, why do I believe it's a wave three? Well, it's because of what became before. What came before this recent move? We had this impulsive move up and then this correction. So this looks like what's called a higher degree wave one. I'm going to draw it like this so you see it nice and clearly. A higher degree wave one and then a higher degree wave two. Again, this will make more sense to you in just a moment. Let's just draw it in like so. A higher degree wave two and then what we believe is potentially a higher degree wave three. So now I'm putting a question mark here because it has not yet been confirmed. I'm going to show you what will confirm an early signal of the completion of a wave three and then a later signal and what we should anticipate. But now we've got a real good feel for the market. So what I like to do is draw a nice pink box to say, this is the technical position that I believe CKB is in. So now that gives us a nice guideline of what we should anticipate next. We should anticipate a wave four correction, a wave four correction, which is comparable to this correction. It's probably going to be much shorter in time for a few reasons. I won't go into the technical reasons of why. But what we can now do is move over to Fibonacci, Fibonacci price and Fibonacci time. So what we're going to use is the typical price retracement for a wave four. The key ratios you want to be aware of is 38.2%. That's the typical minimum for a wave four. And then when it comes to time, we can actually measure how long did this wave three take? I'm doing it in theory first. We can do it on the live chart in just a moment. And then the, we can do a retracement, a time retracement. And it's 38 to 62% of a typical time for a wave four. This is going to be really, really important because we might get a pullback and people may think that the correction is complete. But if it hasn't hit the minimum time and minimum price, then it's unlikely to be complete. So now we can really anticipate in advance what the market is likely to do. So now let's just do that on the live chart on the right hand side with CKB. And let's start with the retracement. So we can take this low down here and we're going to take the full move. Now take this with a pinch of salt. And I'll say that because the wave three top has not been confirmed. But you will see why now at the beginning, I said it's likely that the price is likely to drop below 0.018 is because that's the minimum retracement zone for a typical wave four. Another guideline for Elliott wave theory is that when you see a wave four, like so, it normally tests the former range of the lower degree wave four. In English, that just means this zone is a wave four. And more than likely, we're going to see the price come into this zone over here. That's really, really important to know. Now let's just do the time retracement which will tell us how long should this correction take. And again, what we're doing is measuring typical buying and selling psychology of market dynamics. So let's just pull this in so we can see it a bit clearer over here. And now what we can do is draw a time and price box, call it a zone. So we're talking about price of CKB is more than likely going to drop below 0.0185 to a typical maximum of 0.012. How far will it go? We don't know. So again, it's been very bullish, like a 10x. A 10x is a huge buying impulse. And a wave four 
is typical profit taking. And because this was pretty sideways, there's another guideline that says when wave two is sideways, wave four tends to be sharp. And we can anticipate it's going to be relatively sharp to the downside and prepare for that. So is this a great time to be buying CKB? From the technical standpoint, because we don't know ultimately what's going to happen, ideally not. Because this is where FOMO kicks in. It's called the Wave 5 blow-off. And we've seen this nice big move to the upside. We've had this overextended Wave 3, and we're due for a correction. So we should anticipate the correction and wait for the completion of the correction. So what should we wait for? Well, I'm going to finish with two signals. Two signals that you really want to be aware of. But before I cover these signals, I want to just let you know that I've actually just released my new masterclass. It's called the Free Million Dollar Trading System Masterclass. I think you're going to love it. If you love what I covered so far, it covers the details of pattern, price, time, and momentum, and a lot more. How to trade crypto without risking your own capital, and how to do it with less than 15 minutes per day. If that sounds good to you, you can go to the description link. I've got a link for you. It'll take you to this page. You can sign up for the masterclass. It's it took me over 100 hours to put together, to be totally honest. And I think it's just marvelous. But take a lot of notes. You get a lot of value for it. And there's a lot of goodies in there. So that's available for you in the link below. So now let's finish with the reversal signals. So what would be an early confirmation that this wave three is complete? So what we're going to do is something called a wave overlap. A wave overlap. So what we have over here is this wave three top, which is confirmed because we've got this low and this high has been exceeded up here. So this is confirmed, right? And this peak of this wave here, if the price comes below this point and closes below this point, that is a very strong signal that this top is in and is a relatively early signal that we can take. A much later signal would be a swing low, a major swing low, and this is the major swing low over here. So if you can short the market and you want to short CKB, I wouldn't necessarily recommend shorting the initial part of a wave four. I would always go for the second leg. It's much, much safer. But the next big opportunity with CKB is going to be to be patient. And it is an if. It's always an if because no one knows what the market's ultimately going to do. But if the market does unfold like this, and 70 to 90% of the time it does, and we get a sell-off, and the market does something like this into this range over here. You know, minimum date, uh, I believe it's the 11th of June. Um, the absolute minimum date, and this is really important to note, and we can do it like so. We'll do it like this. This wave two, if this is the wave two, and we take it from this high here. Again, take it with a pinch of salt because it's not been confirmed. Well, it actually goes into the range. So we can be pretty confident that CKB might be sideways to down until early to mid-June, possibly. So that's a couple of months, a couple of months. So don't be overly surprised if we go into a correction, but see as a profit-taking wave. And then if this does occur, what should occur afterwards? Well, we then should anticipate a wave five. This is typical buying and selling psychology. Just the way we saw this wave five on this one, two, three, four, five, we should anticipate a bigger degree wave five, and it potentially might go to all-time new highs when we're thinking about CKB. So there you have it. You have my technical position, hopefully a roadmap. If you got value from today, I'm going to be doing a lot more updates with all types of coins. And if you want me to look at a particular coin that you believe is doing a nice technical edge or a nice technical pattern that you want me to look at, put it in the comments below, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I can help you maximize your profits in this coming bull run that's probably going to last for 12 to 18 months.